Welcome to 10 Minute Maths. Right, today we're going to be learning to take away using a number line. All right, and this really supports the early learning goal where we're subtracting two single digit numbers and we're counting back to find the answer. Right, so we're going to be using a few different words today as well. We're going to be using the words take away and subtract. Take away and subtract both mean the same thing. So if I say subtract, it also means take away, all right? We're also going to use the words equals, and we're also going to be using the phrase counting back. Right, so to join in today, you're going to need a few things. Right, first thing, you're going to need a number line to 10, okay? So we've used this one before, just from zero all the way up to 10, all right? You're also going to need a counter. So just one, okay, and that could be absolutely anything. Rocks, stones, toys, you choose, all right? So you need one counter. And you also need a dice, okay? When we come to our activity at the end, there's going to be a greater depth activity where you're going to need some paper and you're also going to need some felt-tip pens or colouring pencils. Right, so before we start our main activity, we're going to have a quick check of our understanding of numbers that are before and numbers that are after. And when I say the number that is before, that means that it's the smaller number, okay? And the numbers that are after, they are going to be our larger numbers, all right? So let's do one together to start off with. So if I put the counter on number five, then I'm going to say is three before or after five, okay? So we have to look for the number three on our number line and then think, is that before or after? All right, so if it's before, it's going to be a smaller number. If it's after, it's going to be the larger number. And we can see that three is before because it's a smaller number, okay? So the answer was before. Right, let's have another go. So I'm going to put the counter on number three, okay? So is eight before or after three? So again, find number eight and think, is it before or is it after? Yep, it's after. Well done. Right, let's have another go. So let's put the counter on number four. Right, is ten before or after four? Yeah, well done, you're getting speedy now. It's after, because it's our larger number, isn't it? Right, let's have one more go. So let's put the counter on number eight. Right, is two before or after eight? Yep, yeah, well done, it's a smaller number, so it's before, excellent. Right, do you know, I've been playing lots and lots of board games recently, and this is one of my favourites. And it's got these special cards that are mystery cards. And they tell you to move forwards or backwards. All right, so let's have a little go. Right, let's roll the dice. Oh, wow, yes, so I've got a six. So I'm going to move my counter six spaces forward. Are you ready? So let's go. One, two, three. Three, four, five, six. Oh, I've landed on a mystery card. So I have to turn over the mystery card and we have to read what it says. All right, it says, oh, go back two. So that means I've got to move back two spaces. All right, well, I'm going to use my number line to help me with this. So let's go to the next one. You can see I've got my board game at the top 
and I've got my number line from 0 to 10 now. Okay, so it told us that we needed to count back 2, didn't it? So go back 2. All right, so on our number line, we're going to do two jumps backwards. But remember, we have to jump first, just like when we were doing our counting on with our adding, we need to jump first. But this time, we're jumping backwards. So the arrow there is helping us. It's pointing the right way to go. But we jump first. Are you ready? So together, let's do two jumps. Are you ready? So we're going to go one, two. Excellent. So that means on my game, I would have to move back to number four on the board. All right? Excellent. Right, that's a good start because it's going to help us now when we're taken away by counting back. So I'm going to be taken away from numbers from 10. So my counter is going to start on 10. So I'm going to put 10 up on the board. So there we go. That's going to be the beginning of our number sentence. And I'm going to roll my dice. I love my dice. So let's roll the dice. And we're going to see how many we need to take away. So how many is there? Yep, four. So our number sentence will be 10 take away four equals. Right. So just like we did on the board game, we need to count back four times now. So we're going to do four jumps back. But don't forget, jump first. Are you ready? So we're going to go one, two, three, four. And what have we landed on? Six. Excellent. So 10 take away four equals six. Well done. Let's have another go. So we start on 10 again. So let's put that up on the board. Right, we're going to roll the dice to see how many we have to count back. Are you ready? How many is it? Three. Excellent. So 10 take away three equals... Right, what do I have to do? You tell me. Yep, so we have to count back three. So how many jumps? Three. Excellent. Right, let's do three jumps. You ready? I'm going to go one, two, three. What have we landed on? Seven. Excellent. So ten, take away three, equals seven. Right, this last one I want you to do, and I want you to tell me what you get. So let's start on ten. I'm going to roll the dice. Are you ready? Right. So how many have we got? Okay, so what would our number sentence say? Yeah, so 10 take away 5 equals. Right now, what do we have to do? Okay, so we have to count back 5. So 5 jumps back. Right, you have a go. And then we'll see if we get the same answer. So you go first now. All right, here we go. I'm going to have a go. Let's see if we got the same answer. So I'm going to count back five. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five. And I've landed on five. Did you land on five? Excellent. So it's ten. Take away five equals five. Well done. Right, so here we go. Time for a challenge. Your challenge today, what I'd like you to do, start on a number between 6 and 10. So you can choose 6, 7, 8, 9 or 10. Then roll the dice to see how many you have to count back. So you're going to see how many you have to take away. Then can you write it as a number sentence? All right, have a go at that one. Once you finish that and you think, yep, I'm getting really confident now, All right, we have a greater depth challenge for you. So what you need to do is you're going to create your own board game with special mystery cards that tell you to move backwards and to move forwards. So just like the game that we started playing at the beginning, you need to make your own cards that might say, go back to, or it might even say, go forwards three. 
Right, so there's your challenges for this week, okay? So I would love to see some of your board games. So make sure you take a photo and you can tag us on Twitter or Instagram with Mr. C underscore E-Y-F-S. Right, that's all we've got time for, guys. So, as always, make sure you comment, like, share, subscribe, and we'll see you again soon. Bye.